Hey everyone, welcome back and happy Wednesday. All right guys, so we're back to get into the Vanderpump Rules drama of it all with some Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. If you guys did not catch our recap with Dave Neal for Vanderpump Rules in the Valley, then you definitely have to go check it out. But in the meantime, yes, this is exactly what we're back to talk about. Now guys, please excuse the studio. Um, we're trying to still fix it. I think the lights arrived today, but we're trying. So bear with us. With that, guys, smash that like button. Show some love. If you're not subscribed, get subscribed. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. And I say, let's jump right in. I think I covered everything. <laughs> All right, guys. So we're going to start off with the Andy Cohen of it all. And he's revealing, well, it's, he's revealing his um, taste on the sandwiches. So somebody said to me, they were like, Adam, stop playing the clips and reading the clips out loud. So I'm like, okay, I don't need to do that. Um, Andy Cohen ended up going to the Ariana Katie something about her soft opening, but Lisa Vanderpump did not. Now, if you guys want to know why Lisa Vanderpump did not end up showing, then I can just obviously play you guys the clip later um, so you guys can see it. But otherwise, in the meantime, at least we get to hear from Andy Cohen talking about what his thoughts were on something about her. So I don't think it's the end of the world, you guys. Hold on. Let me play the clip. You have a sandwich. Are those sandwiches good? Like, what is yes. the um, Epicurean vibe of this establishment? Well, it's very, you know, it was designed by one of Nancy Myers, um, uh, the, the film director, Nancy yeah. Myers. Uh, so are we talking director. ham and cheese, a tuna salad? Like, what am I? Yeah, there's tuna salad. Here? Well, all I know is all I saw was tuna salad and chicken oh. salad. I'm a, but there's way more. I'm a big chicken salad guy. It does have cranberries in the chicken salad, which I picked out. Yeah, between that's, us. A, that's a drawback. I don't love a cranberry and chicken salad, but the it I was don't either. so good though, and the bread is so good. Um, so it was delicious. And on the way to the airport, I stopped. You have a sandwich. Are I those did. sandwiches good? Like, what is yes. the um Epicurean vibe of this? Mm -hmm. Okay. So the Epicurean vibe is it was designed by one of Nancy Myers um people or Nancy Myers who helped create this romantic rom-com set in the set where we were going to be just infiltrated with all of the love and the drama of these rom-coms. And I think, I guess that's what we were going with. I don't actually fucking know. I don't know. I don't know shit. I'm sitting here trying to understand also what the difference is and I don't know, but we're not done there. No, no, it's just starting. So Dorit Kimsley reportedly filming Real Housewives of Beverly Hills without her wedding ring amid the split from PK. Now, she um, used fashion, her affluent language, to make a bold statement while filming for season 14. The Daily Mail spotted Dorit leaving her car and going to her Beverly Hills co-star Erica Jane's house without her wedding ring. I zoomed in on the paparazzi photo of Dorit's digits dripping with bling. And the closer I looked, the more it appeared that Dorit was, in fact, wearing her wedding ring. This comes out on the heels of the joint Instagram announcement from Dorit and PK as they were separated from nine years of marriage. They share two young children together. Hmm. They said, I looked more closely at the Daily Mail's photos of Dorit filming without her wedding ring. It sure looks like she's wearing it to me. The second photo is for reference. Am I losing it? Now, Bravo TV fans reacted. So there's seven reactions. One, 
Glad she is free to do whatever she wants and whenever. And I'm happy for Dorit. Two, everything is calculated. Three, they should really change the names to broken families of the real divorced housewives. The next one, everything about Dorit and Kyle is fake. Last three, Dorit is out there taking on a new persona already. Next up, country music bar. Second to last, can't we please let Dorit have her privacy? Please give her a break. And lastly, did he take her wardrobe too? So in case you guys missed it, the self-proclaimed fashionista and PK announced their separation earlier this month. Was a couple, we as a couple have been subjected to a lot of speculation about our marriage. We have had our struggles over the last few years and continue to work through them as two people who love each other and share two amazing children together. They continued to safeguard our deep friendship and maintain a harmonious environment for our children. We have made the mutual and difficult decision to take some time apart and reevaluate our relationship while we prioritize our children. We appreciate your love and support while we continue to do the work necessary throughout this journey with love, Dorit and PK. Um, with love, it still sounds like a shit show. Listen, I could be totally missing the mark on this, and maybe I am. I'm not quite sure, but I want to hear what you guys think, um, especially about this. But we're not done. Hold on. No, no. Fans are convinced that Saucy Schroeder shaded Brittany Cartwright and Jax Taylor with her son's passport reveal. Brittany Cartwright and Jax Taylor missed Saucy Schroeder's 2022 wedding over their son's delayed passport, and the bride has not forgotten. Stassi seemingly shaded her Vanderpump Rules co-stars, her former co-stars, by showing off her eight-month-old Messer's passport via Instagram on Tuesday, saying it only took two weeks. Mm. Social media users addressed the shade of it all via X. She'll never forgive them, is what one fan tweeted, while another wrote that Britney and Jax should have handled Cruz's passport sooner. Others, however, came to the Valley co-star's defense with one pointing out that her daughters took forever to process. So we have both. No rhyme or reason with these things. Now, Brittany opened up about their passport problem in July of 2022 on Sheena Shea's Shenanigans podcast, two months after Stassi and her husband tied the knot, and she blamed her their absence on her mom not being able to attend in Jax Taylor's place due to a friend's sudden death. Notably, both Brittany and Jax were in attendance when Tom Short or well, sorry, Stassi Schroeder and Bo Clark initially tied the knot in their backyard in September of 2020. Schroeder admitted to missing them on the toast last year. They hurt me, they really did. It feels like I can't trust them anymore. I'm over it. But it doesn't mean I have to go be besties with these people again. Now, Stassi Schroeder and Brittany Cartwright seem to have set their differences in April aside. Um, however, when they both attended Sheena's daughter's summer, her third birthday, they weren't even in a photo together. Now, Stassi is also the mother of her daughter, Hartford, while Brittany and Jax were trying for baby number two before they separated in February. So this is a moment, but we just don't know what the moment is and why it doesn't make sense for them to be together. So before we end up popping off and getting off of here, you guys know how this works. If you haven't already, go ahead, pop off in the comment section. If you guys are not subscribed, get subscribed. Don't forget to hit that notification bell and let us know what you think. I love you guys, and we'll see you next time.